So this is the first lower body workout of my week and I do upper lower upper lower split and I have a fifth optional day if I choose to work out that would just hit my weak points but everything I actually work out with is in those four days of my actual split. So in this workout it's a little different because I go for a one rep max on my deadlift. Now the actual layout of the workout will be in the description but I didn't actually expect to go for a one rep max in this. My friends just motivated me a bit and Basically, I'm going to make a video on how I actually got that one rep max because just from tweaking my form and getting a few new cues and just a little difference, I failed my first attempt, which was 20 pounds less than the weight I actually got up. And because of those cues and the the things that they gave me, the technique, I ended up lifting 20 pounds more. So it uh, really did change uh, my deadlift. Now, in this video, you're going to see that I mix up my legs with my back. Not too much of my legs in this video. Reasons for that. I'll be explaining in another video on how I actually got to the point I am now from May with this bulk. I'm going to be posting a video on what I've been doing since May from when uh, my training totally switched and my bulk was uh, actually getting really solid uh, all the way to now December. So about eight months and basically it's changed the way I actually go to the gym because I just enjoy working out way more now that I'm lifting heavier and actually know how to uh, gain strength and build up my body the way I'm I'm enjoying it and liking it. I put on about 15 16 pounds since May and It's kind of weak for eight months, but it's way better than what I was doing at any other um, Time in my life where I was putting on maybe like three pounds a year five pounds a year But yeah, this is the greatest progress I've seen so over here I'm attempting 405 my previous one rep max was 375 and about three weeks ago I attempted this failed and attempted this twice previously today and I also failed those two and got this one up I was feeling strong and I'm like, if I can push myself that hard for that one, which wasn't actually too bad, here's 415. And exact same thinking for 425. I was like, if I'm pushing myself that hard for those, I can push a little harder. If I fail, I fail, but I want to at least attempt and there we go. Okay, now this one, <laughs> this one was crazy. Basically, my friend was like, you know, let's, let's go for five for eight kind of get the form down and both of them were saying just practice the mix grip just don't exhaust yourself five or eight reps and i don't know when when i was starting to go i'm like wow this this feels lighter than it's ever been the most i've ever got before doing this was 315 for five and that was like my working set i didn't go heavier or anything like that that was my working set and this to mind you i was in a thought I was in a plateau before this. You know what I mean? Like I really thought I couldn't hit any heavy weight. I failed 365. I was doing a double overhand grip. Yeah, but still I failed 365 like two weeks, three weeks before. And my leg training hasn't been the greatest lately. And this just came and I was like, wow, this this is nuts. Now a 425 pound deadlift isn't anything crazier. 315 for 12 is nothing like oh wow no one's ever done it or anything but to think i was in a plateau from like two three months hitting 375 double overhand grip you know it was just very shocking i was just really excited over this i'm like wow i, I am getting stronger just need better form and technique and after this i did a second set for eight and once again i apologize for this footage it, it sucks so bad but it wouldn't let me record myself sideways so i apologize for the vertical angle my second exercise, I did pull-ups. I do four sets. I got seven reps, five reps, four reps, and four reps. The third exercise I did is a bench row or a seal row with dumbbells. And I put it to the second clip of the actual bench on an incline. And I'll just grab dumbbells and go for three sets of 12 reps. The weight I was using was 55-pound dumbbells. I got one set up for 12. The other two, I can't exactly remember. It was... 11 9 i'm pretty sure but next week i'm gonna try 60s and see if i can get three sets of 10. all i'm thinking about right here is driving with my elbows up having my shoulders back and when i'm coming down come down very nice and controlled and stretching my lats right at the bottom and for breathing i'm breathing out when i'm pulling the weight up and i'm taking a breath in when the weight is coming down for my fourth exercise i'm doing hyper extensions holding dumbbells now a lot of people think you can't use dumbbells or a barbell or an easy curl bar straight bar or something Everyone always thinks you have to use like a kettlebell or a plate on this, but you know, if you can overload this pretty well, I go for three sets of 12 reps. I use 30 pounds on each hand and yeah, my lower back goes on fire. No need to go extremely heavy on this one. In my opinion, I just, I go for higher reps. 
For my second last exercise, I chose to do a lap pull down. Now I do the neutral grip because I like it more. I'm a big believer in what you like more, you're gonna put more effort into. And I do four sets of 15 reps. Now, a lot of people when they think higher reps, it's super easy. Now when you're going, for, if I'm going for 16, 17, 18 reps, the weight's gonna be too light. So I'll put heavier weight to go for four sets of 15 where I'm actually struggling to get 15, hitting maybe anywhere from like the first set 14, second set 13, third set 13, and last set maybe like 11 or 12. And just to make this video consistently bad, I got someone to record it vertically. And for the final workout, it was hammer curls. I couldn't actually record it, but I do four sets of 15. And basically I I keep them controlled, but not super slow or anything. Like I'll, same, same thing applies. I'll curl the weight up as fast as I can, have like a half a second pause at the top and bring it down controlled, maybe like a second and a half, two seconds. Not um, not super worried about the tempo, just fast up, keeping it controlled. And the weight I use right now are 35s. And I hit about 12 reps, 12 reps, 11 reps, and 10 reps. I hope you got something out of today's video of uh, of my workout. And this is like an evolution of, uh, of the workout that I started off with. I have a few things of those workouts, like what I was doing. That's another video I wanna make is tracking your progress. So you know what you were doing months or years ago and like where you are now, always updating, trying to get a, a better schedule and lift and all that stuff. So, so if it did help you, that's great. And I, I really apologize for the the footage being in a, a vertical angle and the first thing i did i didn't know it was vertical for those um lifts and then actually i, I just couldn't make it sideways or horizontal for the other videos i was taking of myself it would only switch to vertical and then the camera would just look like this but sideways it was horrible so strongly apologize but thank you for watching if you made it this far